Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. Today I have for you, well I would say a long video but I'm probably going to break this up into parts but I have another one of these um, ranking videos. If you haven't seen them before, um, I did do one on all of the uh, tier 10 tanks and today probably one that you all expected to happen at some point, we are going to be doing all of the tier 8 premiums. Now, this is the tier list that I found. Obviously, these are made by, by other people. I honestly don't know who who did this. Um, it's the most complete one I found. Um, there are others that had uh, certain tanks missing. And as far as I can see, because obviously, you know, I haven't got a list. This is one of the most complete um, lists of tier 8 premiums that I found. It's... Yeah, you've it's it's mostly done by nations. You've got the Chinese, Czech, French, German, blah blah blah, blah. Um, and then some of the newer releases down the bottom here as well. Um, in terms of the tiers, I've done. Uh, I have got a no opinion tier. That is not. It's good. That is not. It's bad. That is literally. I haven't played the tank, or I haven't even got any kind of opinion on it. Like, I haven't really heard a lot about it. Some tanks I will put in a tier because I've heard a lot about them or I know enough about the stats to kind of know about them. But some tanks, especially some of the newer ones down the bottom, I'll just be putting in no opinion because genuinely I don't, I don't know and I wouldn't want to rank them without really knowing. But yeah, I'm going to be trying to rank all of the tier 8 premiums, not just the ones that I've got. But like I say, there is a possibility that some of them could go into... Uh, no opinion. Um, and also, this is my opinion. So, it's not the be-all and end-all. If there's a tank that you um, you like, for example, that ends up going in below average, and you're like, no, it's a great tank, that's your opinion. This is just what I th personally think, and this is, yeah, this is my personal list. Now, like I said, I am probably going to split this up into parts, depending on how long it takes, like 20 past 10 now. <laughs> I'll probably try and um, break it up into about half an hour segments if it does go any longer than that. Or if it goes to like 40 minutes, I'll break it into two 20 minutes, etc. So if all of a sudden the video cuts, um, then yeah, I'll, I'll kind of see how far I'm getting through. Then maybe I might say, right, that's enough for this part. Come back in the next part. I'm honestly not sure. I'm just going to see how long it takes me because I do like to waffle on about things. Like it usually takes me a while to get through certain things. Other tools we have available, um, I've got Tanks GG um, if I want any of like uh, stats or anything uh, to remind myself. And I've also obviously got in-game open as well. And hopefully, hopefully you guys can see everything and we're not going to have any issues throughout this video. Is the recording on going? Well, hello, all of me's. Yeah, it's definitely recording. I've definitely pressed start recording and not start streaming because I have done that before. Beautiful. Right, let's begin. So the first nation we're going to be doing is um, China. There are eight Chinese tier 8 premiums. Um, also with this list, as opposed to quite a lot of others, it's quite nice because they've only uh, included like one skinned version of each of the tanks. It's like the WZ-111 is just the 111, um, not the Alpine Tiger. Uh, the Type 59 is just the Type 59 Gold, so stuff like that. So again, if like you've got the Alpine Tiger or anything like that, then, you know, it's it's the same as the WZ-111, etc, etc, Defender 252, all of that good stuff. So, first things first, Type 59, um, or Type 59 Gold in this case is represented as. I think we're going to start this off with a good old Decent tier. Um, uh, de oh, sorry, Decent tier, Decent tank. It's alright, I would say. It's slightly better than... I would say average, although as the video goes on, I may move it down. Um, this video, the whole way through, is really subject to change. I might start putting loads of tanks in and then, like, space them out a bit more. Um, the Type 59's alright. The armor's meh. The gun is meh. The mobility's good. Um, so, yeah, it's decent. You're gonna be able to do lots of things in the tank. It's, it's not trash, but it's not the golden glistening gem of awesomeness that it once used to be because wargaming the only thing it used to have was rarity and now wargaming have massively taken the shine off that and the fact it's been power crept and the fact they had to buff it as well so yeah um wz111 also the alpine tiger um 
I think I think it's average. It's I quite enjoy the tank, but I I don't think I can really rank it much higher than this. Yes, obviously it's got preferential, and these this is the thing these were preferential. But these days, preferential isn't what it used to mean. Preferential used to mean you basically always fought tier 6s and tier 7s. Back before the matchmaker changes a long, long, long time ago. Now it's, you get a full tier 8 game, you're actually at a disadvantage because you're not a full tier 8. Um, and you get a full, uh, you get a tier 9 game and you're really in the shit. So I would say, WZ 111 average, like the pen is the issue. Yeah, it's got 250 heat, which isn't too bad. The armor's alright, ability's alright, uh, no, you know what, I'm going to put it in decent, it's actually alright, it, it's had a couple of buffs as well, so it's actually a decent tank. T34-3, I think, has got to go into average, um, I recently saw Ske uh, Skill play this tank, like, on stream, because personally I don't have this thing, this is the first one I don't have, I'll, I will, I will mention if I don't have them, so this is based on either looking at statistics or uh, knowing how they play based on how other people have played it. Um, yeah. The gun depression's not as terrible as it used to be, but the gun is still pretty poor, apparently. Like, you can't hit anything with it. So I'd say it's pretty average. I would say probably the Type 59 is better, just because you've probably got a more consistent gun. And they're basically a very similar tank, just Type 59's got 100mm, this thing's got 122. So, Yeah. Uh, 112, decent tank, basically, insert comments about WZ111. I think the 112 is slightly better these days, it's the buff. Back in the day, I preferred the 111, but these days, I think the 112 is actually a little bit better, but I don't think it's a little bit enough better to go up into the good tank tier. Uh, the 59 pattern, I'ma say, is below average. Like, so many people have said that this is absolute crap. Like, it's got the Type 59's hull, which is decent, but not as good as it used to be. Like, the armor has been power crept on the Type 59's hull with a Patton's turret, but it's got the old Patton's turret with the, the city si skyscraper on top of it. So, it completely nullifies any turret armor it's got, and I think the gun is very much meh. So, it's not really got a lot going for it. I also don't think it's quite as quick. I'm not 100% sure on that, but... I was going to look it up, but... Nah. Goes in below average for me. Okay, WZ120 GFT or 121 GFT. I can't remember the exact name of it. Great tank. In my opinion, probably one of... What well, actually is the name of it? WZ121 GFT. I'm sure I said a combination of letters that had that in. It is a great tank. It's probably one of the better tank destroyers. Um, the only thing that probably makes it not overpowered is the fact that it hasn't got a turret and like low hit points, which is just tier 8 tank destroyer things. But the armor is pretty good. The gun is absolutely brutal. And the mobility is absolutely lovely. It's a really, really good all-round tank destroyer. And I'm pretty sure as well you can actually get it in-game for gold. That's Czechoslovakia. You can. So it's it's definitely a decent pickup if you're a, if you like your tank destroyer gameplay. It does play more of an aggressive tank destroyer role, but it's still a very 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 good tank destroyer for what it is. Uh, M41D. This is a very recent pickup for me, so I haven't played a huge amount of games in it. Um, but I would say it's a good tank. I would I would say. Definitely in at the good tank. It's a light tank, so I think that on player skill, it probably, if you're a worse player, it probably comes down a little bit because it is a lot more tricky to play. Um, however, I would definitely say it is a good tank. The view range is really nice. The mobility is good. The gun is fairly punchy. Um, it's got a really nice shell velocity, if I remember rightly. Like I said, it's a very new tank of mine. Where are we? M41D. Um, it's a very new new tank. Yes, APCR, APCR. Really nice shell velocities. And just all around a fairly good tank, actually. Like, the mobility is really good. View range is really nice, so that's a really nice light tank. The gun as well, 0.31 dispersion, 1.3 seconds aim time in my setup. 
really really nice so i would put it in good a uh, good tank probably wouldn't put it in great tank or op because well it's not and light tanks do definitely scale so i would say if if like you're a 49 percent player i'd probably say average at best because you're just not really going to make it work. Ooh, 122 TM. In certain situations, quite honestly, it can get in the bin. But then in other situations, I would say it's a great tank. I'm dancing between average and decent. I'm going to say decent. Oh, mm. No, I'm going to say decent. Give it an extra, What what's it got? 1600 DPM. Give it 2000 DPM, which isn't great, but isn't, you know, tragic as it is now. It goes up into good tank. The rest of the gun stats are really, really nice. Like 0.3 dispersion, 2 second aim time, 400 average damage, 233 average pen. 299 on the heat rounds like you know that's shaping up to be a holy crap why is that not overpowered the mobility is actually really decent uh not too bad like 55 kilometers an hour forwards 17 nearly horsepower per ton view range is good armor is actually really good but that that is what lets it down like you 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 i can't i can't put it any higher than decent tank because of the DPM. Like you literally. You get into certain situations. Where you just can't do enough. You bounce one shell. You're down to 1200 DPM. Like. <laughs> it's just. Oh. This tank frustrates me. Because it has got potential. But you're, you're sat there. You shoot someone. And they're like pushing at you. And you shoot them. And you go yes. 400 damage. And you're like right. I'm really, I'm almost loaded, I'm almost loaded, because in your brain, from playing other tanks, 400 alpha, you're almost loaded. No, you're still not even halfway through your reload. And then they just keep pushing you, keep pushing you, and you just, yeah, you just, you just can't, can't do anything. Like, it can't go any higher than that. I refuse. Uh, what's that, Skoda T27? Uh, I actually have no opinion on the tank. Um, it's a tank I don't actually have. Is it Skoda T27? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm I'm gonna check these if I'm unsure before I make a fool of myself. Yes, it's the Skoda C27. Um, I'm gonna put it in no opinion. Uh, I haven't played the tank. Uh, I think it was released around a point in the game that I wasn't really playing, so I didn't really get the first impressions of the tank by looking up YouTube videos or anything on it. And since then, it's never really caught my eye. So I'm just gonna leave it in no opinion. I think it's probably best with tanks like that, so that I don't, you know put it down here and people are like, oh my god it's amazing what are you doing max because yeah that will probably happen jesus christ there's so many premiums left the day <laughs> i think we've smashed through these ones quite quick as well right on to the french and we have our first op of day ebr 75 is it fl10 ebr 10 10 FL10, I was right, which is, for anybody wondering why there's loads of tanks in the game that have FL10, it is the uh, gun, I think. No? Or is it the turret? I can't remember, I've made a fool of myself now. Oh well, it's not the first time. I'm pretty sure it's the 75mm FL10. I might be completely wrong. Who the hell knows? Or that might be the... I oh, Stop talking about it, Max. Just get on with the EBR. Uh, this tank is just OP. It's just so good. It is the best tier 8 light tank second to none the only thing that comes close spoiler alert is the lt432 um any excuse for me to show you this as well i know it's one game but 5.9k damage 10 kills 3378 base xp um but yeah it's honestly just insane like it's ridiculously fast two shell auto loaders are op again as you're gonna see as we go through this video um it's just, you can't hit it, it's, it's just OP, it just is. If I have to explain more about the EBR, you clearly haven't played up to tier 8. Ah, the Brask. OP. Brask, I would say, probably in the hands of a bad player, is probably just down here at Decent Tank. But if you're 50%, maybe 52% and above, it's just, just OP, like... The fact that the um, 
the marks of excellence on the Barask to three market are like 3,500. That's like certain tier 10s aren't even that, or are like relatively close to that for the three mark. It's just nuts. Two shells, 360, you can do 720. They tried to balance it with gun handling, but then gave us all kind of funky equipment to it, enable us to counter that. Um, the mobility is great. You can kind of play it as a half light tank a lot of the time as well because the camo is really good. Um, like, like stationary camo, 44% on the brass and 34% whilst moving. On a medium tank, um, good view range, like, and then you've just got this, just the gun. The 105 gun that just does 720, you can get in, do 720, get out. Go in, do 720, get out. When Because it's two shell auto loaded, because someone's facing their turret the wrong way, you put both shells into them, get out before they can even aim their gun at you. It's just, it's honestly absolutely ridiculous. Okay, Lorraine 40T. Um, Once upon a time, I'd have put it up here in Great Tank. It's now going in average. Uh... I don't know what happened to it. It was a good tank. I used to play... It used to be my number three in front lines. It used, I used to play uh, Progetto, uh, T44-100, and then Lorraine was always my third pick. And now it's just it's just gone. It's just absolutely gone. Like I say, it, I used to love this thing. I really don't know what happened to it. It's just dropped off the face of the earth. Like, I think I've played... I've played like 300 games in the tank. I mean, I know some of those, I think, uh, kept the stats of the tier 9. But I played this so much. It's just, it's average because I can't go over the gun handling. Gun handling is poor. The DPM is really poor as well. And the clip, although it's a decent clip at 1200, it's not something like a 5100 where you can full on wipe same tier tanks out of the game. It's only 1,200. For that, you can only kill light tanks and things like certain tank destroyers and like a Barask on a high, high clip roll. So, yeah, and it was really, you're not going to pen all four shells. The pen's really good, but the accuracy, the aim time, everything like that is just fairly shocking. Like, it's just, it's average, which pains me because like I say, once upon a time, it was a great tank. FCM 50T. OP when pushing KV5s. Um, I'm joking. Uh, I'd probably say if you're trying to play this tank properly, I would probably say it's below average these days. You can kind of tell... Uh, really looking at this Type 59 now and being... Uh, yeah, I think I'm doing that. Type 59 is coming down to average. Um, and the T34-3 is coming down to below average. I'm just looking at it and going, preferential matchmaking don't mean jack shit anymore. If anything, preferential matchmaking is actually more of a hindrance than a help. Um, FCM, yes, it's still relatively quick. Yes, it's still got a decent gun, but the armor counts for jack shit, and when you're against tier 9s, it's just a slow medium tank. Hmm. <sighs> No, no, actually, I'm going to put it in average. I'll put it in average. It's still not amazing. The The gun's decent, but it's still not amazing. Yeah, I'm going to get so many people hating on me in the comments. Uh, CDC can get in the bin. It's just not a good tank. It's really not. Once upon a time again, this thing used to be amazing. Because back then, this was like the most mobile tier 8 premium by far because you gotta remember this came from a time where there was no tier 8 premium light tanks because tier 8 light tanks were effectively tier 10s so it came from that time so it was the most medium tier 8 premium uh, the most medium the most mobile tier 8 premium um the armor didn't really matter because you had that mobility and it was at the time such a good gun for a tier 8 premium because you gotta remember this this thing came in just after they stopped doing preferential matchmaking, kind of, in and around that time. Which meant that you you kind of... The gun was just insane. Like, you had... What was it? I can't even remember. Like, 212, 259. Really, really nice. 
The aim time, the accuracy were really good. The DPM was really good for the time. And it didn't really matter what chassis it was mounted to because it made a load of credits because you were so fast. But now, it's not that fast when you compare it to things like the Barask, uh, even things like, you know, heavily armoured tanks like the Skoda. Not saying they keep up with the CDC because they absolutely don't. But they're not as far behind as they once were. Tanks like the, the Lease, the T-44-100, they're not that far behind this thing. In terms of top speed now, specific power like horsepower per ton, the CDC is still insane. But And then you've got the armor that is HEable by pretty much anything. So, yeah, you can't, it, it, like, when your turret is HEable and you don't have anything amazing going for you, like, it's, it's not a good start. But yeah, CDC quite honestly can get in the bin. I don't like it. M4A1 Revlerize, again, coming from kind of the same era. However, this thing, I would say, has still got a bit a bit more to it. I would still say it's a decent tank. Um, it's definitely not good, but I'd, I'd probably put it in decent. Um, you've still got the ability to hit people for 390. Like, uh, 250 heat pen as well isn't disastrous. 10 degrees of gun depression. It's 390 with good gun handling as well. Like, it's not terrible gun handling. It does play more like a tank destroyer than anything else. But I would definitely say it's a decent tank. Or do I say it's average? I still have the question, Max. Would you prefer to take 122TM or a Revlerize? DPM. Armor. I'd probably actually say they're... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For now, it's going to stay there. I'm not sure if it will always stay there, but for now, it's going to stay there. Okay. Uh, AMX M449 or the Liberté, one or the other. I think it's going up in good tank. I don't think it's as good as it was. Like, once upon a time, I'd have put it in great. Um, especially now that people... Because this thing was the first... French, um, like actually armored tank. Really, it was the it was the first French heavy tank that kind of had an inkling of armor. Kind of like oh, you know what? It's actually you know we we we're, we're actually gonna bounce shells, which means when it first came into the game, it bounced a lot of shells because people saw AMX and just fired center of mass. And when you were front line, like it actually bounce shells and people are like wait what whereas now because you've got that as soon as the tech tree line came out into the game the mx m441 and mx m454 people actually decided okay i actually have to learn where to aim at this thing and then when they do you realize it's actually got quite a big cupola the gun isn't amazing like 300 alpha the pen's really nice the aim accuracy is decent the aim time's not great dpm's not great but the mobility is decent. It's it's an okay all-round tank as well. I'd say it's a good all-round tank. And I would say it also makes a decent amount of credits. And you can make it work. I'd definitely say it's probably in good tank. I would probably say more towards the lower end of good tank. But I would say it's definitely a good tank. Samoa SM. I would probably say same place. Um, it's one of my more recent tier 8 premiums. Uh, the armor is decent. It surprises a lot of people because I think a lot of people shoot at it and go, ooh, AMX 5100. And they bounce off it and they're like, wait, what? You actually have to aim for parts, specific parts of its turret. Like the uh, upper hull armor is actually really quite nice. Um, it's still a fairly fairly big tank. It's quite sluggish, especially when compared to the 5100 and that. But it does have a really nice um, five shell clip. Still got the same pen, that French 100mm. 232, um, accuracy and aim time are all right. Uh, it's got 2.25 seconds between shells as well, which unlike the 5100 at 2.7 actually means you can unload decently quick. And obviously missing that shell as well gives it a bit better reload. So I would say it's a good tank. I would say it's quite a hard tank to play, but I would definitely say it's it's quite a good tank. Oh my God, we've still got so many left. I'm definitely going to have to break this video up into two, maybe even 
three parts to be honest um i'm like i said i'm doing it kind of by nation because that's the order they're in with the exception if you're saying oh you've missed this tank if it's a newer tank it's more than likely going to be at the bottom somewhere so ignore that um amx 105 cda a tank i don't actually have i would say it's probably for me it's it's Bordering on no opinion, but I think I've got enough of an opinion about it to say that it's average. I didn't want to do that. Uh, preview vehicle. Uh, DPM's alright. Accuracy and aim time, really good. Mobility's really, really good. View range is fairly terrible. Ten, uh, 8 degrees gun depression. Three ten pen. Okay, maybe maybe it goes in decent tank. Or should I just put it in no opinion? I'll put it in no opinion because I haven't played it. I haven't really looked at it a whole bunch. I would say if I had to put it somewhere, I would probably put it in decent just by looking at the stats. But like I say, I, yeah, I I don't think I really know a lot about it. Uh, sorry, I know. Don't think I know enough about it to actually warrant um, putting it in in a tier kind of thing. Uh, even 90. Has the potential to get in the bin or also has potential to be OP? Depends what player is playing it. I'm going to put it in good. Obviously, gun power. Absolutely fucking shocking. Like, some of the worst DPM... At tier 8, 1200. Uh, the clip size is really small. It takes a really long time to reload the clip. Pen isn't amazing. 175 on the standard rounds. 215 on the premium. So, yeah, the gun is terrible. However, it is, I think, one of the smallest tanks in the... It is the smallest high tier tank in the game, I'm pretty sure. Um, the concealment is just absolutely insane. And the view range, its spotting capabilities are insane. And obviously, anybody who hasn't watched Steve, 06 Walls play it, you know it's capable of some mad feats of memory. It's, yeah, I, so I would say it's a good tank. And I think played well as well. It is a very good tank. And if you get, it's also very map dependent, to be perfectly honest. Um, But yeah, so I would say that pretty much goes there. What time are we on recording wise? 28 minutes okay right <laughs> i'm gonna end this part of the video here guys i'm gonna try and break this up into roughly like 30 minute parts jesus christ this could take like two hours to do this well easy content for me <laughs> um so yeah i'm gonna call it there for this part of the video guys um tune in next time exact same thing we're just gonna continue going i'll keep the list as is i'm not gonna like reset the list or anything so make sure you watch out for um the next part of this video uh make sure you subscribe like notifications etc etc all that youtuber bollocks i know everybody says it but it does genuinely really help and if you do find yourself enjoying my content then please make sure you come back but yeah other than that thank you all so much for watching guys and i'll see you next time